So this is the new batch processor from Rock Robotic. I'm going to set a project name. I'm just going to call it demo. Now I'm going to set the project directory, which is a folder on my desktop. There it is. I'm going to hit select. Now we're going to configure things. First, we're going to set our base file. These are the files from your MLID or GPS. The .22o is the one I want. And you'll notice I already put those in my data folder. I'm going to set the field of view. This is an R2A. It would be different on R360. I'm going to set my yaw, pitch, and roll. And I already have an antenna arm offset. I'm going to use my known point. I've got that typed in. You can use the default position if you don't know your known point. Now I'm going to select my paths. You don't want to select your entire trajectory if you can help it. And I've sped through this, so now I'm going to select the beginning and end of my flight. This is a one battery flight. If it's a hot swap, you can select multiple selections. I'm going to save. And now I'm back on my configure screen and I've done everything correctly. I want to colorize and convert to LAZ as well. Hit OK. Now all I have to do is select my output directory. I've done that. Now I'm going to hit process and we're going to speed up through this. What it's going to do is all the steps that you would normally take in PC Master and PC Painter and the XF Writer and the LAZ compression tool. So all those steps are going to take care of themselves using the batch processor. So we've already gone through completing the LAS. This is sped up just by the way. Um, it's going to colorize the LAS just like you would in PC Painter. Then it's going to write the XF data on the photos in the camera folder, just like you would with our XF tool. And those are based on the known point. And at the end, we're going to get a LAZ file and it's going to clean up all the others. Batch processing is complete. Now in my folder, I've got a demo.laz and we're done.